Hello students. Today we are going to do exercise three and we are going to learn about the layers darken feature and the layers palette. And we're also going to learn how to change our brush size and we're going to review how to pick the colors. All right, so here's exercise three that's on my screen here in Canvas. And I want to make sure that you download the file of the eyeball. Um, you are going to open it up. You want to go to pixlr.com slash e and go ahead and open the file. And you will see over here in the layers palette that it's all one layer. What you want to do now is go to the color picker and uh, pick a funky color that is not the color of a normal eyeball. So maybe bright green. Okay, then do that. Next, I'm going to create a new layer by clicking on the plus sign here. And I want to create an empty layer. Okay, now I'm going to take my brush tool and you'll notice that my brush is really super small. And I'm in this new layer over here. I want to make it bigger. There's two different ways to do that. The first one is you can click this menu right here. Uh, but the disadvantage of this is if I want to make my brush the same size as the eyeball, well, of course, I can't see the eyeball. The, the palette's covering it. So what do I do? I am going to look down at my keyboard and the brackets that are like greater than and less than signs, you're going to click those. The one on the right makes it bigger and the one on the left makes it smaller. So I am going to click this key till it is um, about the same size as my eyeball. So I think that's good enough. And then I'm going to give one tap with my left mouse. Okay. Ooh, funky. Um, now you will notice several things because Hindi's really big on craftsmanship. You will notice right now that there's this huge green area right here. Um, so if I was going to zoom in, I might be able to um, see it a little bit better because Hindi wears glasses and can't see very well. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm using my mouse because I feel like that's a, a little bit easier for me to do. And I really don't want a, a hard tip. I want a soft tip, a little bit bigger like that. I feel like that'll be better. Okay. Yeah, I like that much better. I like the soft tip. You get more of like an airbrushed edge than with the hard line. Okay. All right. So now I am done with my eyeball but I can't see the pupil. So one of the things I could do would be to um, erase inside of that, which I can do. Now I'm going to right mouse click on my layers palette and you'll notice this little menu comp pops up and I can adjust the transparency of my layer. And this will let me, this will let me figure out how big the iris is and do that. Okay. Right mouse click. All right, so I'm going to make that 100%. And now we're going to try an effect. It's called the blend mode. We are going to pick darken. So I'm going to click on this little triangle in the blend mode, blend mode palette, and it's going to pop up a huge list. And I'm going to hit darken. And you can experiment, click on the other features to see what they do. But for this exercise, I'm just going to select darken. And bam, it changes my eyeball. Um, you can see I'm clicking the, the layers on and off. You can see it, it makes it pretty funky. All right, so we are, we are done with this exercise. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hit File, Save. I'm going to save it. This is exercise three. Remember, never overwrite the original file name. So I'm going to rename this exercise three done. So when I go to turn it in, I know exactly which file goes with which exercise or project. And then uh, it's a JPEG. I'm okay, I'm okay with making this, merging the two layers down. They're automatically going to merge when I save it as a JPEG. If I did want to go back and edit this file later, I would pick a PXD because when you save it as a JPEG, it takes that green top layer and the bottom layer and it merges them together. But this is an exercise and I think we did a good job. So I'm just going to hit download and it's going to give me my little countdown over here. And I've downloaded to my downloads folder. So now all I have to do is go back to exercise three and click the blue submit button. Hope you guys enjoyed learning something new today. Bye.